Look who it is. Hi, Rebecca. Don't hi, Rebecca me. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting a costume for Finley. In the clearance section. Oh, is this the clearance section? Oh, yes. Why would you bother with this crap when the good costumes are on the other side? Right. Um, Finley has it in her heart to be a, a witch. It's basic, non-flashy, but it's what she wants, so, you know. Kelly, you do realize that we had to take a community picture for the competition, right? I do. Then why would you put Finley in such a low-class costume? This will ruin the picture, and it counts 10% of our score. Don't you want to win? I do. It's just that, how do I break my daughter's heart? She has it set to be a witch this year. Mom, look how cool this is. Cool, yeah. Look at that. Can I get this one, please? Uh, uh, hi, Finley. I'm a little confused here. Your mom said that you had your heart set on being a witch this year. What? I don't want to be a witch. That's a costume for babies. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what, sweetie? This is great. Just put it in the cart. <laughs> Much better choice, Finley. Better than the uh, low-class one that your mom picked out. Bye, Rebecca. <laughs> All right, guys. If we want to win Best Decorated Neighborhood for the fifth time in a row, I need each and every one of you to level it up. Who's with me? Oh, Kelly, what spooktacular decorations do you and Kevin have planned this year? Um, well, I was thinking the witch family display and I would line up the walkway with jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't that what you did last year? Yes. <gasps> Well, I just, I figured that if it worked so well last year, that no, maybe I... No, 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 no. We are going for a prestigious neighborhood award here. The judges will know if you reuse decorations and they'll take off points. But I was thinking that if buts? I just... No, buts. Everyone is topping their decorations from last year. If you don't do that, we're not going to win. Well, I was just trying okay. to... Okay, stop being stingy. It's just a few thousand dollars. We know that you and Kevin can afford it. Of course. What was I thinking? Clearly you weren't. Oh. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Rebecca. What do you have in there? Oh, um, just some candy for the trick-or-treaters. <laughs> okay. You can't be serious. You can't hand out that junk. It's just candy. No, it's not just candy. It's off-brand candy, and it's cheap. You know, everybody in the neighborhood is handing out the good stuff, the full-size bars. You hand out this garbage, you're gonna bring the neighborhood down, and it will lessen our scores. Is that what you want, Kelly? No, of course not. Okay, well then put this crap back and get the good stuff. But if I just, no. I just... No more excuses. This competition is way too important for you to skimp out on. Of course, you're right. I'm putting this back. I had higher expectations for you. Kevin? Kevin! Kevin! You're leaving me because of her, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving you for Nikki because, well, I'm in love with her and I can't stand to be here another second longer. Fine, Hinta, I said it. You happy? Well, you can't just give up on your family. Well, what about Finley? So don't guilt trip me. All we do is fight. I can't take this anymore. Well, we fight because you're never around. You're always working late with, with, with Nikki. But I guess now I know what you were doing this whole time, huh? Give me a break. Don't leave. <laughs> you're gonna leave like this, huh? Kevin, don't do this. Don't do this, Kevin, don't. Do Kevin. One second.
Rebecca, I uh, wasn't expecting it to be you. We need to talk. Uh, sure, come in. Um, look, if this is about the decorations, I know they should have been up already and I'll put them up soon, I promise. No, it's, it's not about that. I heard you and Kevin outside last night. You heard that? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just thought you and Kevin were so happy. What happened? Sit. Well, I did too until I found texts and pictures in Kevin's phone. He was cheating on me with his coworker. Kelly, I am so sorry. I also got the divorce papers this morning. That was after I found out that um, he stole all the money in our joint savings. It's like I am drowning and I'm struggling to stay afloat and it just, I've been looking for work, but no one wants to hire someone with a 10 year gap in their work history. And I'm trying so hard to keep it from Finley. I just want her to enjoy being a teen on Halloween, you know? And it's just getting harder by the day. <laughs> Kelly, I owe you a huge apology for the way I've been treating you. I was so wrapped up in this whole competition and winning this award that I didn't even ask you what you've been going through. And I'm sorry. Thank you. I mean, I was just too embarrassed to tell you. You just, you couldn't have known. Well, I know now. And, and I've got your back. In fact, the whole neighborhood does. What's this? Kelly, I forced you to buy those expensive decorations and candies, and I know that you can't return them now. The store won't take them back. So this is my reimbursement for the cost. I can't take this. Oh, no. you can. And you will. But it's not the only thing I'm going to do. What do you mean? Well, my company is in need of a new accountant. And if memory serves me correctly, that's what you used to do before Finley was born, right? You're offering me a job? <laughs> yeah. What do you say? Thank you. I won't let you down, I promise. <laughs> I know you won't.